Hello, welcome to the Antisocial Club. I'm Diamond Alexis. So today I will be showing you all how to make a crochet balaclava. I know this is not the video that people wanted. A lot of people wanted me to show how to make my ruffle bucket hats, which I will do, but I did this one for now because it's quick and I still have a regular job and have orders that I have to do. And this is all that I could do for right now. So I figured a tutorial is better than no tutorial. So I'm going to be showing y'all how I make these balaclavas. They're my fur ones. Um, in my supplies, I forgot to show the fur yarn. This isn't the color I used, but this is the brand. It's the Yarn B for a loop brand. Um, I used the color ivory in the video. I forgot to show it when I was showing all the other stuff. So I figured I'd come on here and show it now. But um, yeah, I tried to make this tutorial as beginner friendly as I possibly could. But if you have any questions, just be sure to leave them down below and I will answer them. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the tutorial. And Okay, these are all the things that you're gonna need. This is the yarn. This is one skein. This is a whole skein. I've never even used this before. I just rolled it up. This is the scissors. They just do that. This is the needle. These are the yarn pins or whatever they're called. These are my labels. It's my label. It's nothing on the back. And then a 10 millimeter hook. Right, let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. Always take the short end and the short end and put it underneath. The longer end so then you get a x what we're gonna do is take these two fingers and you're gonna grab the short end you're not gonna let go with this hand so you're gonna take it grab it and you're just gonna pull up and then you have a slip knot like that and then you put your oh put your yarn in i always put the short side towards me so i'm right I'm, I'm facing this way. I'm facing this way. So this is going to be towards me. And you can tell it's towards you because when I loosen it, if I pull this, it pulls on this side. So let's see. Let me see if I can see. So if I pull this, you see it pulls on that side. So let's do it again. So you're going to take the two like that. You're going to put the short end on this other side, make an X. You're going to take your two fingers, grab it, and then just pull up like that. And you're going to take this, put the short end on the side facing, facing you, and then put your hook there. And you're just going to tighten it by pulling. You're going to pull the short one to tighten it. So how I hold my yarn with my hand is I put it around my pinky like so and then I put it around my pointer finger like this so it looks like that on the inside. Can you see? <laughs> so first we're going to start off by chaining four. You're gonna chain four. So you're gonna do one. So what I do is I make sure I hold the knot. So you don't wanna hold this, and you don't wanna hold this. You wanna hold the actual knot. So I hold the knot, I yarn over like that. So yarn over, and then we're gonna pull it through. Yarn over, that's two, yarn over, and I do it this way, 
three, and then yarn over four. I hold my hook like this when I chain, and I'll show y'all how I hold it while I'm actually working, because I hold it different from when I'm actually doing work. So that's four. So you have a chain of four. One, two, three, four. What you're going to do is yarn over, and you're going to take it, and you're going to insert it through this first one. So you're going to insert it here. And when you insert it in, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to take it, you're going to pull through. So then you have three. So one, two, three. So when you have three, you're going to yarn over. Now you have four. So one, two, three, four. You're going to pull through two. So now you have two on the hook. You're going to yarn over. You have three on the hook now. You're going to take the one you just yarned over and put it through two. And that is called a double crochet. So for this whole mask, we're going to be double crocheting. So again, you're going to yarn over, you're going to insert the hook, yarn over, pull the yarn through, so you have three, that's four, you yarn over, now you have four on the hook. Double crochet means you're just going to pull through two loops twice. So four, pull through two loops, that's one. Yarn over, pull through two loops, that's two. So that's a double crochet. And we're going to do 11. So right now, we did two, but we technically have three double crochets. So our chain we did, this is our chain that we did. And that counts as a double crochet in this project. So again, you're going to yarn over. You're going to insert the hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to bring it through the loop. Mind you, you're going through the same first one every single time. It's the one right by the slip knot. You yarn over, so now you have four. And again, double crochet just means you go through two loops twice. So yarn over, that's four. Go through two, that's one. Go through two, that's two, double crochet. So now we have four. One, two, three, four. So, yarn over. And we're going to do 11 total. So I have 10. We're going to do one more. So, yarn over. Go through the hole. Bring it through. So you have three, yarn over, four, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And now you have a double crochet. And you should have 11 total. And how you can count it is I always count the lines, if that makes sense. I actually count the actual stitch. So this is one. You see there's... Another one that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. So I count these actual stitches. So now that we have eleven, we're going to slip stitch into our very first double crochet that we did, or the chain that we did. That counts as a double crochet. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for your very first double crochet, which is this one. It's right beside the last one you did. So it's number one. You're going to look for this opening, but you're not going to put it through there. You're going to put it through this opening. So at the top of this, it has V's. So you're basically going to put it the very first V. Um, I know when I was starting to crochet, 
people sucked at explaining this part, so I'm trying to explain it as best as I can because I know this part is very confusing, especially if you're a beginner. So, easiest thing I could do is say, look for the first one, and then turn it around, look for the Vs. You see the Vs? You're going to look for the very first V, and there should be, you can see where your very first one connects to the second one. So, that's where this and this one connects, number one and number two. And you're going to put it through here. So, you're going to take your hook, you're just going to put it through. Just like that. So this is what it looks like on the back. Um, front, you're just gonna put it through. And what you're gonna do is yarn over. And you're gonna bring it through. So you see you have two. You're gonna bring it back through. And that's a slip stitch. So let's do it again. So you have your very last one. You're going to look for the very first stitch. The very first double crochet. Look for the very first V. You're going to go through that very first V, which is right there. You're going to go through that. You're going to put your hook. Yarn over. Bring it through. And then go through the other one. And boom, you have a slip stitch. And what you can do is you can pull this and just tighten it. And there you go. And we're just going to ignore that string until the very, very end. So what we're going to do next, um, we're going to do the second row. This is called crocheting in a round. Or crocheting in the round, I guess. Um, so, yeah. I use this method for... All of my things, even my ruffle hats. So yeah. So for the second row, what you're going to do is you're going to chain three. So like at the beginning, we chained four. You're going to chain three here. So what we're going to do is yarn over. Go through. Yarn over. Go through. That's two. Yarn over. Go through that's three okay so for the second row you're gonna this counts as again this one counts as a double crochet I count all of mine so this is our first double crochet so what you're gonna do is you need two double crochets in every stitch all the way around so we already have our first double crochet and this very first stitch is literally right under the chain. You're going to put your second double crochet. And again, these are the, these are the ones that you're going to go through. It's these V's. So you look for the V's. It's the very first V. You're going to go through that. You're going to put your second double crochet. So you're going to yarn over. Go in, bring the yarn over, gonna yarn over, you have four, go through two, yarn over, go through two, now you have two double crochets in that very same stitch. Again, you want them to be in the same stitch. You're gonna do two in every one. So we're gonna go to the next one. This is the next one. Again, yarn over, go through, pull the yarn through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and that very same stitch that we just went through, we're going to go through it again. So yarn over, go through, pull, in the, pull through the yarn, and you yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So two, two. So you should have four. So one, two, three, four. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So yarn over, go through, pull through the yarn, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And here I can show y'all how I hold my 
stuck I hold it like this um and what that does it keeps me from having to move my whole wrist I can just move my fingers instead so let me see if I can show y'all how I do it so yarn over and what I do when I'm going through to keep my loops the same size I don't know if y'all notice I'm holding the yarn here I go through hold it go through pull it up and then I just hold it every time and then I move my fingers go through two yarn over go through two and that's how I keep my all my stitches the same with the same tension I guess um, I know a lot of times when I was first starting my stuff would get loose and I'm like oh why is it loose so what I learned how to I taught myself to hold this that way it could stay the same size or like it doesn't come down here and get too small because I don't know if you can see the hook gets smaller towards this area it gets smaller so I keep it here so it can stay this size. Your hook is always going to go towards you. Some stitches, they do it away, but most of them, it's going to go towards you. I'm over here, so the hook is always going to be facing my way. So I'll yarn over. Go through two. See how I didn't hold it? See how it's bigger? So I just go back. I redo it. It's okay to have to redo stuff. So this is our very last stitch. And how you know it's the last one is this one. This is the ver there. Look, this is the very first stitch. It is connected to this. So I see how these have nothing connected to them. Um, this one does. This one's already in here. So you don't want to go through that. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it off and we're going to do a slip stitch. Again, you want to look for the very first one. You have to go over and look for the V. The very first V. The very first V is right here. It has an opening. And you're just going to take your hook. Go through there, yarn over, bring it through, and you're going to go through the other one. And this is what it's going to look like. And it will curl a bit. I don't, I don't know if you can see that it's kind of curling inward. That's okay. So again, you're going to chain three. So again, yarn over, go through. One, two, three. And this time, instead of doing two in every one like we did for the second row, you're going to do two in the very first one. So here's one. Yarn over, go through. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. In this next one, we're only going to put one double crochet. So yarn over, go through. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, as one. So you have two in this one, so one, two. This is the next one, you have one. This next one, you're going to go and put two. So two, one, two, and you're going to keep doing that all the way around. So two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So two, one, so you're going to put two in this next one. So two, so two, one, two, and then we're going to put one, and you're literally just going to follow that same pattern all the way around, and you should end on two, so I'll come back when we're on two again. Okay, 
So we've gone all the way around. And again, you know you did it right if you if you end it on two. You should have ended on two double crochets. So two, one, 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 and then two. So I know we said I said we're not supposed to go through this one, but for this pattern I do. So you do want to actually put a stitch here, connecting to the very first two. Or the very first one so we're gonna end on one technically so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that little hole where you would where you put your first double crochet go through here and oh you're gonna yarn over first you're gonna do a double crochet so you're gonna go through do that so you have an extra and then once you have that in there so you see how they're connected now so in the first one you didn't want to do that but from we're going to do this for rows three through seven so this is the third row so we started it and we're going to do this all the way to row seven so we put it in there and then you're going to do slip stitch. So you find that first one, find the V, put it in this very first section, slip stitch. And what this is doing is adding an increase. So it's going to make the increase happen faster than it would. Again, yarn three, I mean, chain three. So this next row, we chain three. You're going to do a double crochet in that very same stitch, of course. Remember, yarn over, go through two, go, yarn over, go through two. So you have two. You're going to put one double crochet in the next one. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. You're going to put one in the next one. So two, one. You're going to do one again. So yarn over, go through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then you're going to put two in the very next one. So two, one, one, two. So yarn over, go through. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So you have, you have two, you have one, you have one, and then you have two. So for this row, we did two, one, two, one, two, one. This one, we're going to do two, one, one, two, two. One, one, two. So two, we're gonna do one. <clears throat> one, two. So again, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. One, one, two, I'm going to do that all the way around. And because we did an extra stitch down here, you're not, you're no longer going to end on two. You're going to end on one. So we ended on one. So again, you're gonna go in this very next one. So we have two, one, and then you're gonna do another one. And that's for the double crochet. So two, one, one. Then you're gonna slip stitch. So 
So find the V, go in between, you're just going to put your hook through, yarn over, and you're going to pull through two. So this is the fourth row. We're going to move on to the fifth row. So you're going to chain three. One, two, three. So this row, you're going to do two, one, 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 two. So you're going to have two double crochet, three double crochets, and then two. Two, one, two, three, two. So you're going to go into that first one again. Double crochet. You have two double crochets. Do one double crochet. Do one in the very next one. Do one in the very next one. So you should have done a total of three. So two, one, two, three. After you've done three, you're going to do two again. Two double crochets and one stitch. So that's one, two. So two, one, 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 two. Two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two. I'm going to do that all the way around. So you're basically increasing the one double crochets. So we did two, one, two, then you did two, one, one, two, now you're doing two, one, 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 two. So that's two, do one, double crochet, go to the next stitch, one double crochet, go to the next stitch, one double crochet, then Go back to two double crochets. So one, two. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two. Two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two. Do that all the way around. If you need to go back and recount, make sure you're doing them right. There's two, one, two, three. Then you have two. Can you see? One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. So I'm gonna put two in this one. And did it on a single. I'm gonna go in this one again. Double crochet, and that's gonna be three. So two. One, two, three. Look for the V. Go through the hole. Gonna slip stitch. Go through, yarn over, go through both. So we're gonna do this one more time. <laughs> so chain three, two, three. Double crochet. We're gonna have two double crochets in the first one. So you're going to have, instead of doing three on this row, you're going to do four. So two, one, two, three, four, two. So two double crochets, one double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochets. Next stitch, that's three double crochets. Next stitch, four double crochet. And then next stitch, you're going to do two double crochets again. Two. So two, one, two, three, four, two. And what I do at this point is I usually turn my work like this. That way, instead of it curling like this, when you're working, it'll curl from the inside. Because this is the inside. This part where your 
Stringus is the inside. You can tell the difference. They look different. You can see like the lines. This side, it kind of just like looks kind of messy. That's how you know which side is the correct side. This is the correct side. This is the wrong side. This is going to be the inside. And you'll know because it has the string that we started with when we did our slip knot. So yeah. So I usually will turn my work like this where the inside or the wrong side is up. And then I'll do this and I'll crochet around. Because eventually, you know, it's going to turn into a hat. So it's going to start to curl up. So yeah. So again, two, one, two, three, four, two. I'm gonna do one double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochet. Next stitch, that's three. Next stitch, four. And you're gonna do two double crochets on the next one. So one, two, in that very same stitch. So two, one, two, three, four, two, two, one, 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 two. And you're gonna do that all the way around, just like the other rows. So we're on the last one again, you know, because there's the V. So you have two, one, two, three. You're going to go through this one. And then you'll have four. So two, one, two, three, four. You're going to do the slip stitch. Boom. So that is the end to our major increases, I should say. By now, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Now we're getting to the part where it's going to actually start to come up. So it's going to start to curl upwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over chain three you're gonna go through the same stitch do two double crochets so you have two in here and then you're gonna put one double crochet all the way around so no more only time you're gonna increase is this very first one so you we did the two the two double crochets. So you have one and then two. And you see they're in that same stitch together. So that counts as an increase. And so now um, we don't want to increase it anymore. So what we're gonna do is put one double crochet all the way around, and then we're gonna come back here. So just one double crochet all the way around. So you want to put one double crochet and one stitch. Only one that should have two double crochets is this very first one. And you're just going to go all the way around. This part probably will go by faster for a lot of y'all because you no longer really have to count. Um, I don't count my stitches so I don't know how many <laughs> you're supposed to have. I just know, like I said, um, at the beginning, like at the end, you'll end on the single crochet. I mean, the one double crochet um, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not big on counting. I'm not, I'm already not good with numbers. Counting to me would just make it more difficult. And I know there's a lot of people like me, so, um, I have indica other indications that let me know, like, okay, I'm doing the right thing. But, uh, yeah. 
only time I'll count is like, you know, of course, when I'm doing the increases. And then once we get around to the eye part. But the rest of this should go by super fast because you don't count. You just make sure you're putting one double crochet in every single stitch. All the way around. And at this point, you'll start to see it's kind of curling up like that. So on the last double crochet, double crochet. So now we're going to go back to like we were at the beginning. You don't want to put anything in this stitch. So you know for these rows we were, and you can see where we did. This time you don't because we did a double crochet at the beginning. So you don't want to go in this one, you want to just do the slip stitch. So again, look for the first V, going to go through this hole, and you're just going to go through both. And then you have your slip stitch. Going to chain three. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth row. So this is the last time we'll be putting two in the very first one. So you want to put another double, double uh, another double crochet in this very first stitch. And then one all the way around again. So just like we did in the previous row. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we're on the last one, you're going to do a slip stitch. Remember, remember, don't go in this one. This is your last one. You'll know it's the one uh, connected to this one. That's the one you don't want to go through. So this should be your last one. So you're going to find the first one. You're going to do a slip stitch. Remember, go through two. You're going to chain three, two, three. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is our ninth row. So instead of putting two in this first one, you want to go straight into this one and do a double crochet. You're gonna we're not gonna do two anymore. We're just gonna do one all the way around. So don't go through this one. You're gonna go to the next one, double crochet. So you can see the previous row, we did two in the very first one. This time you're not going to do that. You're going to do that chain three, go to the next stitch, double crochet. Double crochet all the way around, only putting one stitch in, I mean one double crochet in each stitch. So go around and you're going to do that until you get to... 11 rows. Okay, so we're at the end of the 11th row. So, of course, you're going to slip stitch, find this first one, find the V. Slip stitch into that. So the 12th row. The 12th row, this is where we're going to do the eye hole. So I like to count, I believe it's either 17, 18. So what you're going to do is chain three. Three. You're going to take your... I don't know what these are called. Crochet pins, crochet, I don't know. And we're gonna pin them where we need to put them. So we're gonna chain three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do double crochets 
And we're going to do 18 of them. So this counts as one. So you're going to do two. Three, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So you should have eighteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So now what you're gonna do is count seventeen. So not including this one. For this next one, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then you're going to put a sticker in this one. So this is 17. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain 17. So you're going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen. And then what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over. You're going to go into the one with the marker in it. And you're going to double crochet. So you're going to bring the yarn through. Yarn over. And what I do is I hold this so it doesn't like move like that. You just hold it. Go through two. Yarn over. Go through two. Just like that. And then you're going to double crochet, put one double crochet in the rest of the stitches. So, so we're back at the first one. You're going to slip stitch. Chain three, of course. You're going to, you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch. So remember, you're not putting one in this one. And yes, it is normal to have this big kind of gap. Yeah, so make sure you don't put one in here. You put in here. Because remember, this counts as a double crochet. So that's one. Then you do one. And then you do one all the way around. Okay. So now we're at the chain 17. And you want to remember that it's chain 17. Also, you can remove this sticker. Or marker, whatever it's called. So we're at the 17 chain. And I know some people go through the actual chain. But I never remember what I'm supposed to go through. So I just crochet around it. So how you do that is you yarn over. You go around the chain. Almost like you're putting it in the hole. But there is no hole. I mean, it is a hole, but it's like a big hole. So you're going to yarn over. I mean, put it under the chain. You're going to yarn over it on the hook. Bring that through. So then you have three. Yarn over. Four. Yarn. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. You have a double crochet. And you can see it goes around the chain. So again, yarn over, go under the chain, pull the yarn around the chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're literally just going to keep doing that until you have 17 double crochets on this chain. You can, I guess if you know how to go through the chain you can do that but i never can remember what i'm supposed to go through when i chain so i don't even bother i just go around it it doesn't look bad to me so just gonna keep doing that until you get 17 because remember we chained 17 
So you want to keep that 17. You don't want to increase or decrease it. You want to keep that same 17 amount. So we're going to count. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And once you have 17 on here, let's recount again and make sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You're going to take your hook. You're going to find that first open loop, which is right here where my finger is, like this one. You're going to go through that. So you're going to yarn over, go through, bring the yarn through. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then you're going to start back up your double crochets on the actual hat again. So you're going to just do one double crochet all the way back around. Um, If you do like I just did and you lose your hook, remember, you know it's the right way. This part that moves is supposed to be facing you so i'm right here hello i'm this way so this part of that moves see how this other side doesn't move it's a part of the stitch but this part of that moves is like the yarn the working yarn you want to always make sure that's facing towards you so because sometimes when i lose the yarn it'll be this way and that's not you want it like this towards you so you just put your hook back through and you Pull it and you just continue again. So we're back at the beginning. Again, you don't want to go through this one. You can tell it's not the one you're supposed to go through because this is attached to it. Um, so you're just going to slip stitch in there. Slip stitch. Chain three. Yarn over, pull through, go through two, yarn over, go through two. I'm gonna just keep putting one double crochet in each stitch. And you're gonna do this until you get to row 21. So. Just to show y'all what it looks like so far. This is what it looks like. This will be where your eyes will be. Okay. So now we are on row 21. This is the mask. We're on row 21 now. So what we're going to do, I don't know if y'all can see it down this, this. <laughs> Sir, why are you all in my face? Okay. So for, so there's 23 rows total for this whole hat. So we only have three more rows, right? For this yarn. <laughs> we only have three more rows. Um, For row 21 and 23. You're going to do an increase. So you're going to put, so you have your chain three. Uh, let me see. You have your chain three. And what you're going to do is yarn over. You're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch. So two. And that's it. And then you just do one all the way around again. Do one all the way around like we were doing before. So we're at the end of row 21. We're going to do a slip stitch. Chain three. No increase in row 22. So you're going to go ahead 
into the next stitch not this same stitch but the very next one which is this hole gonna yarn over double crochet gonna do one double crochet in every stitch all the way around this is the row last row the end of row 22 I can't talk slip stitch of course and then your very last row for um, chain three your very last increase so increase of course you're gonna go in do another double crochet in that same stitch that very first stitch so now you have two two in here and then you're gonna do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around to the very very end this will be our last row with this yarn. Super exciting. It's our very last slip stitch. So, you're gonna find that one. You're gonna find the first V. It should have a loop right underneath it, um, which is right here. So, you're gonna slip stitch into that. And boom and sometimes I chain one sometimes I just go in and cut it this I'm gonna chain one and we're just gonna pull it like this and we're gonna do is take your yarn scissor things I guess you're gonna cut it on the part that has the working yarn so the part where you loop your hand around you're gonna cut it on this side and then when you do you see your hook is in here you just pull it and it'll be like this and you just pull this like that and boom it's finished so now, now you have your mask, and that's what it'll look like. So now what we're going to do is put the fur at the bottom. So let me get the fur and we can do that. So I'm going to do ivory fur. Um, I think that'll look good be thinking yeah right so I'm gonna do ivory what I'm gonna do is cut this little mine comes pre looped so mine has loops already in it so what I did was just cut a loop so it can have a tail that I can tuck at the end so if you get the same one, I recommend doing that same thing. Just cutting one of the loops. That way you can have a tail to tuck in at the end. So I'm going to I'm gonna turn around on the back. What I do is I take my hook, put it in like this. And I'm just going to go through and single crochet. Actually, I'm going to uh, slip stitch. So you just go through. You take the loop. Let me see if you can see. You go through the hole, the stitch, take the loop, bring it in. And then go through the second one. So you're doing a slip stitch all the way around. And that's what I'm going to do. Just. Make sure to find the loop. Go through. Oops. Go through the loop, 
you want to kind of just pull it okay so when I get to the end um, actually I'm gonna do one more right here so I'm at the end you're gonna take this you're gonna find where this loop is you're gonna cut it you can feel you can't see it but you can feel there's a string there you're just gonna cut that and then you're just gonna cut this this is kind of hard so you kind of just have to keep doing it like that what I do is I take this which is the, sh the first little tail from the first one that we did you just gotta pull that through what I do is I take them and I tie them together like that just gotta tie it in a knot I'm gonna take this loop it underneath here bring it there Tie these on that. Because when you take it apart, it comes in part, apart into three. So I just tie all three of them in a knot, basically. Take this. Put it on this side. Put it on that side. Tie this like that. We're just gonna cut the excess off. Full mask. It looks really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the hat inside out and we still have this from our very first um, slip knot and then we also have this is the tail from when we ended so what we're gonna do is take our crochet um, needles Take your crochet needle. You're gonna take the yarn. What I do is I just fold it in half like this and I put it against my thumb and finger and I swipe it like that and then I put it through like that. And what you're going to do is you're just basically going to weave it in to the um, yarn. You want to make sure you don't go through to the other side, though, because you don't want to see it on the other side. And I just do it randomly. This one, I usually go back around in that circle. So I just go back around in the circle. Um... You can do it however many times you want. I'm not going to do it that many times. Um, do it this last time. And what I do is I cut it short like this. I take this and I separate the threads. So there's two on this side, two on this side, 
and what I do is I tie them. I came from the world of sewing first, and when you sew the end, you're supposed to tie the threads. So when I got into crocheting and nobody tied their threads, I was like, no, that's not going to work. I don't need my stuff unraveling. So I tie them like that. And then I just cut it off. People will wear it so much, eventually it'll just flatten. And see, like, you won't even notice it's there. And you do the same thing. Um, ready to go. You do the same thing with this one. So, you just take it, fold it in half, and swipe. Uh oh, I dropped it. Put it in like that. Same thing, just kind of uh, weave it through. Making sure you can't see it from the other side. Cut this. Gonna separate it. Tie it. I separate them again. Tie them on opposite sides. Just like this. Then I cut it. And boom. Now there's no loose ends. So what I do now is I find the seam, you can see the seam for that. I take my seam ripper, I take my tag, I poke holes, four holes, two on each side. Just do it on each side. Take a piece of yarn. We're gonna separate it into two, like this. What I do is I put this in here. Take this. Take this, put it here, and then I'm gonna put it through like this. Like that. Take the other one, do it on the other side. You're just gonna tie it on both sides like this separate it tie it we're gonna cut just like this you have the finished hat that's what it looks like on the inside Turn it back inside out. And there you have it. It's a fur balaclava. So today is the next day. 
I'm going to show you all how to make the jaw, jaw string to go on the inside. Slip knot. Remember, you're going to do an X. You're going to take the short end. Pull it. Have the short end towards you. So I'm right here. So I'm going to have it towards me. I'm going to just pull. So to make the drawstring, I literally just chain until it's long enough. I don't really have a count. Um, but I'll show y'all how I do it to see if it's long enough or not. But we're just gonna chain. Just keep chaining. Also, by the way, <laughs> I'm using a size six hook. So the hook is a size six. So we're at the end. We're gonna pull this. You're not gonna cut it yet. What we're gonna do is take our crochet needle. To take your crochet needle you're going to what I do is I just pull this like this so it makes like a little you can see it makes like a little knot at the end I just pull it down and what I do is I put it through the needle like this and what we're gonna do is weave it in to the hat. So you turn the hat around to the back. You can see the seam. This is where the seam is on the back. And let's see. You're gonna find this little bottom area and I just weave it in and out. So literally, I just find it, I go in, out, like that, and I do that all the way around, so in, out, So what I do is I, oops, I just took the hook out and I stretched this out to see how long these are. And see, they're not very long. I try to make them long enough so if people want to tie them in a bow, they can. So I'm just going to take my hook and I'm going to make it longer by chaining more. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull this. Make it tight. And then we're going to stretch it out. And you want to try to get these two even. So. If I look. This side is still shorter, so. Okay, so now they're about even. So, because they're long enough, what we're gonna do now, take our yarn scissors, and we're gonna cut the yarn. 
Uh oh. And what you do is you stick your finger through and you pull it that way. And so you then you pull this down. And then now you have a knot on the side. Take your scissors again. I cut it to about right here. You grab both of them at the same time. Cut them about right there. Yeah. That's how you make the back. You see, you can't see it. You only see this. And yeah, that is the mask the balaclava <laughs> i guess i'll show y'all what it looks like on and do a demonstration on how to do it my hair is still wet so i'm actually gonna put my durag over my head <laughs> i thought it'd be dry but it's not it's not it's okay um i don't want to mess up my hair so what you do is you just take the front, you line it up to the front of you, and you just put it on, and it literally, it literally just slides on. That's what it looks like. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these two strings, and you just pull it, like that. Let me try to hide my do rag, <laughs> but you just do that, and you can tie this in a bow. You can tuck it in. Um, you can do whatever you want with these. You can leave them. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just do that. Wear it like this, and then when you're done, all you do is just give it a nice little pull. You don't have to pull hard. I mean, it's super easy. And so when you want to wear it in the beanie form, what you do is you just bring it all the way up. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring it up to the eye part where you look at us. I'm struggling because I have this thing on my head. It keeps sliding. <laughs> but you're going to do that. And then you just fold it over. Literally. Just fold it over. And then you have the beanie form. And then you could... You could tie this in a bow, or you could tuck it in. You could just tuck it in so you can't see it. Or you could just leave it dangling if that's what you wanted. But yeah, that's literally how it just goes from balaclava to beanie. It's really simple. You literally just line it up. Like, this is the eye part. You line it up to this part, and you put the other side there, and then you fold it down because you don't want the fur to be on the inside you want it to be out showing so you you just fold it down and it makes this cute beanie and this is what it looks like the little swivel and yeah <laughs> so i hope you like this tutorial make sure y'all like comment and subscribe um if y'all have any questions because maybe you're confused on one part or something like that, please let me know um, and I'll try to explain it further. Yeah, but I hope this tutorial was very help helpful. I tried to make it as beginner friendly as possible. 
by showing like how I hold my yarn, how I hold my hook, all that stuff. I tried to go slow, try to, you know, really describe what I was doing. Ooh, try to describe what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all like this video. I hope it was very helpful. Let me know if y'all make it. Please tag me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever. If you do make it, I would love to see it. Um, but yeah, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.